A very beautiful Wednesday afternoon from wherever you're watching. This is Jalango TV and this is Bonga Najalas coming live from a park in by Radisson, uh, based definitely right in the middle of Westlands. This is one of the most amazing, amazing places you can ever come, have your drink, have your meal and just come and relax. As we speak, we are at the rooftop bar uh, overlooking the city and the skyline of Nairobi. They say the skyline of Nairobi looks amazing from the sky. Wait until we come down and meet the devil and his disciples at the ground. But definitely, when you are at the park inn, it doesn't get better than this. Come here, get your booking. When you come and have your drink, check in what is here at the Park Inn by Radisson. As we speak, they have amazing, amazing offers on their bed and breakfast and uh, just a bed alone, whatever you want to be. But an evening moment for you when there's crazy traffic here on the road. You know how Westlands can sometimes be crazy. Just pop in and have a drink and rest. And why not sleep and wake up tomorrow go to the office? Ghana baby is here yeah, with us. Man, I feel like you have so much energy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sanitize, sanitize. Oh, sanitize, sanitize. <laughs> sanitize, oh, sanitize. Wow. Ah, Wode Maya. I am Maya. I am Maya. Yeah. Are you Wode Maya or you are Maya? <laughs> <laughs> I am Wode Maya. Wode Maya. Exactly. You know, I've never known you, or I've never met you, or wow. never seen you. You have a lot So yesterday, uh -huh. yesterday I posted and I told the guys that I'll be hosting Ghana's top YouTuber himself. Okay. You understand? On my Instagram page, everybody was there. Ay, ja, ja, ja. This is huge. This is big. <laughs> this is the biggest interview ever. Wow. Wow. <laughs> ah, welcome, Woody. You know, it's an honor to meet you because like, when I posted you, yes. everyone was like, you've made it in life. So I called my mom and oh, told my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I called my mom and told my mom, mom, I finally made it in life, you know? <laughs> Because you met me. Exactly. Oh, yes, exactly, now you made exactly. it in life. <laughs> Your mother did lie and she received a good message <laughs> that you. <laughs> sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. Would you welcome home? Thank you so much. I hear you are our in law. Yeah, uh -huh. Nairobi is like a second home for me. How, uh, this is not your first time here. No. How many times have we been to Kenya? Five times. Five times. Exactly. Coming to see Trudy baby or uh, who baby? <laughs> what is? What is that name? What no, is Miss Trudy. Miss Trudy. Exactly. That is your girlfriend. Yeah. She's from Kenya. Exactly. Have you paid blood pass? Already. Uh, you paid? Exactly. Without me. <laughs> sanitize. Hey, today. <laughs> I'm going to sanitize my whole life. Wow, wow, wow. But yeah. uh, as your brother in law now, yeah. I want to officially welcome you. Thank you so much. Uh, at uh, first, welcome you here at the park in Radisson. Mm. This is one of the best hotels you can ever be in Nairobi. I've been here. I've seen a lot of your work in your channel. Mm. You do a lot of hotels and buildings mm. and uh, exactly. stories about Africa. Exactly. So make sure that you can do a story about the pack in. I would definitely do that before. I Are leave. they treating you well? Very well. <laughs> I mean, like, even when I'm sleeping, they call me and tell me that breakfast is ready. <laughs> Good day, good day, good day. Ah, good to see what you. Brings you what, what brings you to my country? Your country, like, personally, um, people call me a Ghanaian content creator, mm. the one and only village boy from Ghana. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm on a journey to change the narratives of Africa because I was just tired of seeing the way people talk about Africa being a shithole, Africa being a poverty shrinking place. So, like, being a Ghanaian or being an African, I decided to visit all African countries and promote it in a positive way. So, what you actually do is change the whole narrative. Change the whole narrative because, like, personally, the first time I got to Nairobi, mm -hmm. seeing the skyscrapers, I was like, where am I? <laughs> you know, like, we don't even know that places like this, we Exist. have places like this in Africa, you know. Yes. So, like, it's something that I'm trying to do with a drone shot and all that to change the narratives of Africa. So I've been here fifth time, but I'm here maybe because of uh, Miss Trudy. You know? Miss Trudy. Uh, yeah, this time around. Yeah. The Ghana baby <laughs> is meeting Kenya uh, baby. Yeah, she was in Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> she was in Ghana, so I had to yeah. come with her this time around. But mm. I brought a concept in Ghana recently about promoting African businesses. Mm -hmm. Like, because I used to travel, go sleep in a hotel, and I promote the hotel and people will be like, okay, this is in Africa, but who owns it? Is wow. that an African? Uh -huh. 
So I felt so bad seeing people like saying that Africans can't own hotels or resorts or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So I bought this concept in Ghana. Every hotel that I go, I want to make sure if the hotel is owned by an African. So I'll talk to the CEO. Please, can you share your story? How did you manage to build something like this? And it seems this is the best thing I've ever done. Even had the chance to meet our former president mm -hmm. who called me to recommend me about the great job that I brought on the continent. Mm -hmm. So Corona is over. So I had to come and do exactly the same thing. In Nairobi. So far, how many countries have you visited? 17 African countries. 17 so far. African countries. Yeah. You've been to Kenya? Kenya, mm -hmm. Uganda, mm -hmm. um, Rwanda. Mm -hmm. I've been to Tanzania, mm -hmm. Ghana, my country. Of course. Senegal. Yes. No, you can't Gab say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been to Mozambique, South Africa, Swaziland. Uh -huh. I've been to like, um, which one again? So many countries. Yeah? I saw your amazing story about yeah. uh, Kigali, Rwanda. Kigali, Rwanda. The cleanest country uh, in Africa. It's actually my favorite country in Africa. Uh -huh. I wish we all can learn from them. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not that developed, but super clean, safe country I've ever been to in Africa. You, you can literally walk anywhere you want. You're actually eating from the trenches. I, 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 I was sitting because I was shocked mm -hmm. to see that a country in Africa looks this super clean. I was just sitting in the gutter eating, and that is the video that changed my life. Because, wow. yeah, I, I was coming from China. I didn't know what I was doing, but I, I was making videos in China, so I had a 100,000 subscribers that time and I decided to use my 100,000 subscribers to come back to Africa to change the narratives. So Rwanda was actually my second country and then I just blew up. Wow. With a million views on that video and wow. You leave that wow. story for another day. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So you studied in China. In China. Yeah. That is your university. University, goal. yeah. <laughs> I still have so many Kenyan classmates mm -hmm. living in Kenya right now. Uh. I did aeronautics, so I know like there are some of them even working in K KIA, Kenyan eh, Airways. So eh. a big shout out to all my classmates. They sent me a message yesterday telling me that <laughs> hey, Jalango is hosting. They started posting my old pictures that we took back in school. Uh -huh. And so I just want to give all of them a shout out. Yeah, your boy is here, yeah. So come uh, and see so, me. So you Let's actually see. studied aeronautics. Aeronautics, yeah. I and mean, now you are a YouTuber. Exactly. Jesus. <laughs> What is your parents feeling about this? My, my mom was so disappointed. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I had to sign a deal with my mom that, hey, it's not all about mm -hmm. being in the office, being an engineer, being a doctor. Uh -huh. But I want to tell you that I can do something that I love and be able to what? earn more than being an engineer and a doctor. Wow. Because I don't think a doctor, a pilot, or mention uh -huh. they don't earn more than me can earn more than you they they can't earn more than me jesus sanitize thank you so this, you this know are, sometimes i get my mother african parents not once or twice have i found my mother <laughs> praying with her church team uh -huh. for me to get a job that's african parents you know, <laughs> but um i just want to encourage more mm -hmm. things out there do what you love do. About, i'm not saying don't be an engineer mm. don't be a doctor but mm. These are the things that we came to meet. Mm. Right now, the world is evolving. The world things is changing. changing. Things, things are changing. changing. You can literally stay in your room with your so phone. So you speak Mandarin? Very well. Ni hao. Wo hao ni? Wo ni song. I, I, no, no, no. Kom se ne yu ma. Ni hao ma? Oh, you ma, you ne. Ni chifalo ma? Oh, kom se ne yu ne. Oh, you ma? Oh, you ma, you ne. Oh, you ma, you ne. Oh, you ma, that's not Chinese. That's Chinese. No. A rocker? Uh -huh. Rocker ni kubaruzi? Ay, that sounds like Swahili. <laughs> <laughs> so you came back and started doing the stories of Africa exactly. on YouTube with a hundred thousand exactly. followers. Exactly, because I realized that somebody has to come up to start telling positive stories of Africa. Because I'll be in China trying to look for Nairobi. All you see is pictures. People combine pictures together and say, oh, uh, the Africa you don't see on TV. Somebody should be on the ground to show us the real Africa. So I brought that up and right now I have so many branches. Like I don't keep my audience to myself. I meet any African out there. If you are, if you will really inspire to be a YouTuber, I create a, co a channel for you. Create your first content, give you audience, and I leave. Wow. Yeah. And I would admire. I am Maya. I am Maya. I am so Maya. So you are, you are, you are, you are, your channel is called Wodemaya. Wodemaya. Meaning my mom. Huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wodemaya is a. It's a. It's a, a Ghanaian. No. Wodemaya. It means my mom. So be in which language? Chinese. In Chinese, because I started my channel in China. Uh -huh. So like, when I started my channel, my dad was so mad. Like I took you to school to be an engineer. Why are you being in the street vlogging, talking like a madman or something? My dad was so mad. So my mom was always behind the scene. Like you know what? Your dad is so mad. But keep doing your thing. I still love you. But don't do it too much. 
you know so my mom was always behind the scene until i got my first viral video so when i blowed up i changed my whole youtube name to a catchy phrase in china that is what maya literally means my mom so, so my youtube channel is just if you call me what am just call me my mom my mom my mom yeah but i just want my mom to know that i appreciate her for supporting my dreams wow <laughs> wow so what is my father in chinese my father would they baba eh? what the baba would they baba yeah <laughs> Let us just call the channel Wode Maya. <laughs> Wode Baba sounds yeah, yeah. <laughs> so weird. Yeah. Wow, wow, yeah. wow, wow, wow. Yeah. So, so let, let, let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. So you came with your 100,000 subscribers. Exactly. All right. Mm. And now you're posting more than 500,000. Yeah. Like within, from 2018, March to now. Mm -hmm. from 100 to 500 so 400 and something thousand. you have most watched video my w most watched video has 2.5 million views which one is that um it was how chinese react when they see black people that oh. was when i was in china ah. yeah so that's my most watched video but when it comes to the africa to the world i think my most watched video is the video that i sat in the gutter to eat in rwanda in yeah, kigali in kigali exactly wow yeah. So which is your favorite video? Maybe not the two of them. Favorite video is actually, I have some kind of videos that I do. What makes African women unique? <laughs> so I'll say South Africa. What makes South African women unique is my favorite video. Like literally, I, I've watched that video a hundred times. Mm -hmm. It was just so funny, so lively and entertaining. Mm -hmm. I've seen, and it, it went viral in Congo. Mm -hmm. So because like he asked a, a South African girl, which country do you prefer and everybody was saying congo 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 mm -hmm. you know they prefer congo men hey. and that video went viral in congo. Why, 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 why would they I, like I, I don't even know mm -hmm. i don't even i was also trying to find out uh -huh. but they, they they said congo mm -hmm. um, nigeria and ghana uh -huh. well, yeah nowhere around kenya i don't think so oh because kenyans are the most faithful men uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave that for another day yeah. <laughs> now let me let, 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 let let me ask you. Yeah. What did uh, did you ever do? Uh, what is unique about Kenyan women? I'm yet to do it. <laughs> I'll do it because, this time before I leave. Because Trudy, baby, Miss Trudy is Kenyan. She, yeah, she's Kenyan, uh -huh. but um, you know, sometimes you need to talk to people. Uh -huh. So I, apart from her, I'm not. I would never interview. Even I know she wouldn't even like that video, but uh -huh. I have to do it. Uh -huh. You understand? Uh -huh. Yeah. Shout out to you, Miss Trudy. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 Guys, we are live with a Ghanaian top YouTuber, Wode Maya, which definitely now we know what it means. It means my mom or my mother. Exactly. Wode, Baba, Wode Baba would definitely mean my father. father. But because the mom supported the dream that dad did not like, Wode is here. And we are talking about a man who earns more than a doctor engineer and is just a YouTuber. Walking and traveling across Africa to change the narrative that is Africa and bringing the amazing stories from this place. We are live from the amazing Park Inn by Radisson in Westlands, boasting of the amazing, amazing places that you can ever be anytime you are in Nairobi. Pop in when you are in Westlands for some Yamachoma, walk in for a drink, walk in for uh, a night here at uh, Park Inn will not hurt. Because you know what? Sometimes you don't go for vacation, you come in for staycation. Wow. <laughs> so this is the place you're staying now. Yeah, exactly. And you're staying here with uh, uh, Trudy, eh? Yeah, I'm staying here with Trudy. Ah, uh, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> Passport on the way. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, parking is fantastic. Uh -huh. I love their service. Mm -hmm. You know, breakfast. Mm -hmm. Even your room, you know, like I've been watching the U.S. presidential election the whole of last night. Mm -hmm. So I didn't even sleep. Mm -hmm. But I know I'll go and sleep back again after an interview. Because mm -hmm. they've got a very comfortable bed in the room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Which is this African country that you travel to and uh, was so unique and you, get, you got one of the most amazing stories? Rwanda. Every story that I brought from Rwanda was unique. Because like it's a country that people didn't know. I would say that I even made Rwanda more famous than people that are um, doing adverts in Rwanda. I, I was the guy that I went to Rwanda and literally everyone was going there. I, I, I went to Rwanda for the second time. I met a woman at the airport. She cried seeing me at the airport because she said, I am in Rwanda because of you and you are the first guy I'm seeing at the airport. So like I had so much impact in Rwanda and um, the country that I think I had more impact, which country? Gambia. Mm -hmm. Like when I went to Gambia, there was nothing like a YouTube channel in the Gambia. Then I set up a channel. I had to miss my flight that day, set up a channel. And um, now 
so many people are coming up. So the thing is, like, we need to let Africans tell their own story instead of, like, always allowing, I mean, foreigners come and tell us that Africa is this, Africa is that. So this is what I believe in. I'm not racist. People think that I'm racist because I always deal with Africans. You know what? I, that's it. So creating channels, telling the stories, that is my hobby. Wow. Yeah. You've been in Kenya. This is your fifth time here. Fifth time. What is this amazing story from Kenya? <laughs> amazing thing you know about Kenya. I, I, I love Kenya with all my heart. Mm. But if I'm with you and I know that a lot of people are watching us, I just want to say once something, okay? Please stop profiling us. Thank you. Who? The police. Po profiles who? I've, I've been to Kenya five times and there's no single day that I never had trouble entering Kenya. You always have trouble with... Every, like, I, li literally, when I landed this time, I was praying. I told my girl, like, oh my God, please, for the first time, let me enter Kenya without any trouble. Immigration is fantastic. Like, I feel like the way the immigration... They, they told me, the guy saw my passport, I was like, you're here for the fifth time. Oh, wow. Why are you here? And I'm like, oh, my girl is here. Oh, you're enjoying your machoma. And I'm like, okay, interesting. But I got down going for my bag. The policeman took my passport. Ghana come and i'm like okay where are you taking me to he wants me to get out of the airport i'm like do all the check-ins in the airport if you want to check if i am a drug dealer do it in the airport he said let me take you out of the airport and i'm like no what if i'm a foreigner in this country what if you're going to do something and you're not wearing uniform so how do i even believe that you're police you're police he said i'm harassing him and then he called all the police to come like, they, try, they thought I'm going to get scared, but hey, I've traveled to 17 countries, and I don't, tell me, take me back to my country, and I'll go. And they came, and they were like, I'm going to take you back to your country. And I'm like, okay. Even immigration officer has given me the visa, and you, the police, you want to take me back to my country? They took us to a room, me and my camera guy. My camera guy is also Ghanaian. They took us to a room. They opened our box, and then they started speaking to my girlfriend. And then they said, where are you from? Which tribe are you? Oh. And she said she is half floor, half kiku. Now, when she told them who she is, they said, oh, we are not going to check your bag. They left her bag and started checking. And like, oh, you see all those people there? They are Nigerians. You too, your face will be there. And I'm like, dude. And you, let me tell you something. You actually saved us from the police. Do you know that? Myself? You saved us. Because my girlfriend was like, oh, stop doing this to him. He's here. Um, Jalango is going to interview him on Wednesday. And they got scared. I said, Jalango? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't want to tell you who my father is. Hey, <laughs> you will soon know him. Uh -huh. It's like, like Jalango is going to interview. It's like, Jalango, who are you? They try to get to know me. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay. I mean, you should it because you are representing the country. So you keep on doing that. Like, I've been here five times. And they can sit in the passport. Every, every single... There's not even a single day that I, I entered Kenya and Is going it because back. of what your brothers have done before? No. Let us be no, honest. But, let's be honest. Let's, yeah. be let's, honest. let's be honest. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Let, I'm going to be honest to you. Is it what that, your brothers no, have done before? I no. Mean, I mean, our brothers have done something. That does not make me one of them. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because... But you, let's say, no, show but, me your but, family. But I show you who you are. A, a, a Kenyan <laughs> always enter Ghana. Uh -huh. yeah, I, I've been to Kumasi. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a man that I, I interviewed in Ghana. He said, like, he has never seen a friend like a Ghanaian and Nigerian. He, he's Kenyan. He has businesses in Ghana. So it's like, st I mean, stop profiling us. You, you can do your job without so, profiling us. So you, everybody. you are an amazing Ghanaian s uh, telling the African story. Exactly. Being harassed in Kenya. All the time. Oh my God! I, I, I've been handcuffed my first time in. You've been handcuffed. The first day I got to Kenya, I was handcuffed. Why? Because they said I'm a terrorist. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yes, you look like one. <laughs> <laughs> and and for me, you know, terrorists like, talk a lot like you. <laughs> <laughs> and when when they are coming, you won't even see them. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but I just want to tell them that, like, we we we, we, we are all one Africa, you know, uh -huh. uh, whether from Ghana, Nigeria, because when you travel out of Kenya, mm. when you go to Europe, nobody will see you and say you are Kenyan. Mm. They call all of us a black man or an African. Mm. Yo, if you want to check whether I have drugs, mm. do your job, but mm. stop profiling, oh, you Ghanaians. And he was telling me that very soon your face will be on that picture. As if when he saw me, he knew that I have something. Wow. It's sad, you know. Wow. This is a message, definitely, 
to the Kenyan police and the Kenyan authorities who are letting in and uh, are actually in charge of uh, letting in visitors into our country. Not everybody who comes to the country yeah. is a drug dealer or is a tourist. It is good to go through somebody's bag and just get to know them without harassing them. Thank you me. have every single right to be able to ask somebody who they are. And, but could you do it in a way oh. somebody can go and say good stories about our country? Like what he is just saying and spreading their most. I mean, she, he's even married one of us. Okay, now you want the bride price to go back, eh? <laughs> Is that what you people want? Is that what you people want? No, you're sounding like a Nigerian. <laughs> How do Ghanaians say? Do you... <laughs> Is that what you want? <laughs> Is that what you want? For bride price to go back to Ghana? No, maybe Kumasi. they want to replace bride price with bribe. <laughs> <laughs> Sanitize. <laughs> Oh, but ah, I, I, I love what Kenya. Are, what are you uh, killing? <laughs> what are you killing? I knew we were going to have an interesting <laughs> but I didn't know. You're crazy. Yeah, man. Uh, let know. me give a few shout out to people who are watching right yeah. now. 1,500 people have joined us live. Oh, wow. Please read some of their names and just give them shout outs. Okay. Maybe. Gan Can I pronounce this name? Yeah. Hey, you try. Hey, <laughs> Monica Wende. Is it Mr. Ghana, baby? Hey. Uh, and then Magnum is. Is it Quantana? Uh, Quantana. Quantana, Africa eh. to the world, yeah. <laughs> and um, there's so many people, or what do I say? Okay, this one is a, a promise, is a depth. Uh, no, I think this is. You know, I'd promise them that you're coming. So oh, okay. that is the time they were still waiting. <laughs> Big shout out to Monica Mwende, Esther Jose, Magnum eh. Quantana, definitely. I see Anna Ann says. Uh, Africa to the world and everybody who is in. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, everybody who is watching, watching, watching us. Over 1,500 of you tuned in live this beautiful afternoon. Thank you. Ghana, baby. baby. Why, why a Kenyan lady, by the way? Why did you, where did you guys meet, number one? Oh, wow. Mm. That would be an interesting story. Uh -huh. So when I wanted to come to Africa, because I was based in China, when I wanted to come to Africa, I wanted to work with all content creators in Africa. Yes. Uh, coming together to promote Africa together because I believe in United Africa. Let's come together and tell our own story. So I sent every YouTuber in Africa that I watch a message. Nobody replied because I had less number of followers that time. Nobody replied. So after me coming back to Kenya, went back to China, that's when Trudy replied me. Amen. Yeah, so Trudy replied me and uh, we started talking as friends, hey, how are you? Mm -hmm. So when I decided to start my whole project, mm -hmm. I came back again and uh, we met in Ethiopia because mm -hmm. I started my whole project in Ethiopia. So I told her, hey, I'm in Ethiopia, would you love to come around? Then, yeah, she came over. She came over to uh, she came over. Yeah, she came, yeah. And she I, flew in. I'm telling you, she flew in, yeah. That Jesus. was the magic, a uh, Ghanaian magic that you understand. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, I might show you after the show. Juju. <laughs> Juju is too much. <laughs> the juju is too much. So uh, like we met in Ethiopia. Uh -huh. Yeah, and she came back to Ghana, uh, mm. Kenya. I went to mm. Rwanda. Mm -hmm. So we started talking, talking, talking. I was supposed to fly from Tanzania to Ghana. And I'm like, I can't just let this go, girl go like that. Mm -hmm. I had to fly myself to Kenya. To Kenya. Yeah. And met her. And met her. And the rest is his history. Thank <laughs> you. I have the name of your firstborn. Trumaya? Uh, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, YouTube, so, eh? so because yeah, that's how you I'll guys. That the, the, the first baby has to carry camera around and start talking. Hey, my name is Trumaya. Uh, uh, <laughs> so you want to create that whole story yeah, about? I mean, mm -hmm. Yeah, because even me, YouTube is not something that I want to do forever. I just mm -hmm. wanna uh, make an impact, and mm -hmm. when I'm done, I'm out. Wow. Yeah. Why? But it's because giving I, a platform to uh, do. It's, it's a There's platform. a new story in Africa every day. Yeah, but I'm gonna turn this whole YouTube thing into a TV station where I'll just be somewhere and then people from different African countries will be, will be telling the African story from wherever they are. And then I'll just be continuing where I started from because that's why I don't keep my audience. I don't know if people are watching. There are so many people that I've met. I don't see you being a bigger YouTuber or a smaller YouTuber. I work with literally everyone. I can meet somebody with just 200 followers and I work with them because I believe in the content, not the numbers. So that's why people call me, oh, the, I saw you, they said the most humble YouTuber or something, something. Mm -hmm. but I work with everyone. So mm -hmm. I just want to finish my whole uh, plan of traveling the entire continent 
and then I'll just stop, sit somewhere, and let people take over the channel. So I'm building a channel for people. So it's going to be like the BBC, but not BBC Africa, but an African channel that is only focusing on the positive stories of Africa. By so a Kenyan will be doing videos in Kenya, and will be posting it, posting it on, on the, the channel. channel. Somebody in Mozambique posting on the channel. So that is the main uh, dream that I have, and um, I don't want to be a YouTuber forever. Now it's just something that you do at your youthful age. I'm out. It's planned. I plan my life. An aeronautical engineer, now a YouTuber. Uh, you, 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 and then aeronautical, it's you out. forgot about uh, it. Nah, now it's out. Mm. Now, being a YouTuber, I do whatever I want to do, then I come back again. You have your own businesses. So the money you're making out of YouTube, you invest. So after that, you just sit back and enjoy The it. biggest check YouTube have ever sent you. If I tell you right now, I think people might come into my room, so um, I'll tell you offline, but um, I'll tell you offline. I'll tell you offline. I'll tell you offline. I'll tell you offline. Seven million Kenya shillings. I'll tell you that offline. <laughs> He's a smart journalist, eh? <laughs> but don't worry, this is my job. So, so, I so get let me you. ask you, yeah. how long are you around now? I'll be here for 17 days. 17 days? Yeah, but Doing I think, what? so literally I want to promote African businesses, mm -hmm. okay? Um, so I if just there's want, a Kenyan out there watching so, and you want to promote them. Exactly. So to talk to them. So if you're a Kenyan out there and maybe um, you have, let's say you built a mall or you're a real estate developer, uh -huh. but you, ha you have to be Kenyan. Mm -hmm. If you own anything, even a farm, mm -hmm. that you think that people need to hear your story, because I am here to create content that will inspire many out there. Because a lot of Africans have given up on the continent. Like, I met a woman in Kenya who owns properties in here. A woman. Mm -hmm. And these are the things that people don't believe that Africans are doing stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So if you have any business, if you think your story is inspirational, please mm -hmm. reach out to me. Or like, and when I come, don't... Tell me to wear suits, man. I'm just going to wear my shirt and my shirt. And mm. then, but the impact is huge. I think you're yeah. looking for my father. You have to tell it's me about It's called Chris Kirubi. Like, <laughs> I think I sent him a message. Um, I sent him a message and I really needed him. I really, you, 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 because like a lot of people are telling me in my comment section, please meet Chris Kirubi. We want to hear his story. I'm not going to dig into your personal life. Mm -hmm. I just want to know and you build this. Mark. I think the mm. best way to deal with the, with the property industry and mm. businesses is actually to look for the businesses that are doing it. Like uh, Chris, I think, is under Cyton okay. Development. Mm, okay. I think it will be better. It will be easy to meet him through that. Yeah. Then we have so many, so many, so many other developers coming up. Yeah. And uh, like this is an amazing story. The one you're seeing right there, that is GTC. This is going to be the tallest building in Kenya. And you see, it has dwarfed every single, single. every oh. single building around this place. Wow. That is the GTC, that one there. See, these are the things that I'm looking for, mm -hmm. you know. But it's so hard, mm -hmm. like, to reach out to the CEO of Ghana. Mm -hmm. When I started, I realized that the CEOs knows each other, uh -huh. so it was so easy and simple to, for, for you me. to spread. Yeah, but now, even here, the CEOs know each other. Yeah, so I need to get mm -hmm. one person, and mm -hmm. then I think they will see the work I've done. Can I organize you meet the CEO of the country? That would be fantastic. That's like, the president. Even the president. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. at the end of the day, mm. what do you plan to achieve with all this? All I want to do is to have an impact. What impact? Impact seeing Africans being proud to call themselves like an African. Africans abroad, like let me tell you something, there's so many Africans that are living abroad that are struggling. They're struggling, but when they come back here with the few dollars that they make, and they come and tell us that they've made it in life. But mm. now, when you come and listen to the stories of mm. Africans that never traveled, they've made it big or maybe they were in the west came back here and doing something fantastic you know when you hear their story all of them want to come back i have kenyans that are telling me what am i we are looking forward for your videos in kenya please inspire us to come back home so that is why i cannot inspire because i'm not kenyan so i need to look for kenyans to tell the stories to inspire many to wow. come back so you've been to the west yeah that's the biggest difference what would you tell somebody there, there, who is in the west there is no to come back home? there is no sense of belonging in the west mm -hmm. like you don't feel like because you can't even say hello to your neighbor. Work, working in the West is like rat race. You do this, you do this, you do that, you do that. So in the, the whole day, you'll be working all the time. And when you get the money, you have to pay bills. You pay bills, at the end of the day, you have just a few amount of money. But these are the things that they don't, they don't tell the truth. 
people are struggling to bring dollars to their families in here. Like, you can't be a billionaire in the West, but you can be a billionaire in Africa because there's so many opportunities here. Africa is developing, but the West is already developed. So the chances of you becoming a billionaire in the West is few. Like, there, there, there's this American guy. He's a Ghanaian. He's a Ghanaian, married to a Kenyan, based here. And they have a fantastic story. He's an he's a executive chef who was based in America. Now he established his own chef, in, his own restaurant in here. And the people that eat there are like Kenyan politicians and all that. Like, there's no signboard. But he gets everything from his farm and then cook in the restaurant. Everything is like in the farm. So something wow. organic, this is something that you can never achieve in the West. You can't, you can't own a farm and a house like on a five acres of land in the West, no. So these are the things that we need to tell people that there are a lot of opportunities in here. How do we tell them? You have to let people who have done it to tell them how they did it. So that's why I'm here. So these are the kind of impact that I want to make. Let people come back home. Apart from real estate, which other amazing businesses have you covered in your channel? Um, farming. Farming. People do shrimp farming, fish farming. I mean, even the ordinary farming that people do, greenhouse farming. Um, what else again? So many. Mm -hmm. Like, there's a guy who built um, a charcoal factory in Ghana. He uses school fees. He's a lawyer. His final year school fees, he uses it to build what, a charcoal factory. And now it's the biggest charcoal factory in Ghana. Some people might even start bread making, and then they will make it. So I'm looking for stories, people who started something, and now they are making it, and they feel like people need to hear about them. You know, you want your story to inspire many. That's why I'm here. I just want st inspirational stories. Wow. I just want inspirational stories. But it has to be an African. This is Jalango TV, and we are having uh, a sit-down with this amazing young man from Ghana who's brought himself all the love and taken some love out of them. Hey, Miss Trudy, please come. Please come. Miss Trudy, come please. I just say it to us. You know, we are talking about you as if you are very, very far. Uh, please come <laughs> to your brother because I've not ah, received the bride price. Yeah. Uh, you have not received the bride price. Or has he paid bride price? Not yet. Not yet. Sit this side until he pays. So now, Trudy, let me ask you. Yes. What is the main, uh, most amazing thing you saw in Ghana? Oh, Ghana as a country. As a country. Ghanaians are very they're very humble people. You know one thing about Ghana? You have to say please in everything. Like, you can't say how are you. You have to say please, how are you? You know why I'm bringing you closer? It's why? because of my microphone. Uh, <laughs> you have to say please, how are you? You can't say how are you. <laughs> and then the funniest thing is you don't say I'm fine. You have to say please, I'm fine. Please, I'm fine. Yes. <laughs> in this town, Nairobi, people will say please, yeah, I'm I'm fine. fine. That's the thing. So when I went to Ghana, they thought I was very rude, you know. Because you have to say please in everything, but mm. they'll be like, hi. You know, say please, like, where hi. are you coming from? Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. So people are very respectful and mm. very humble. You also have your YouTube channel. Yes. What's the name of the YouTube channel? Miss Trudy. Miss Trudy. How many subscribers so far? Um, 135,000. 135,000? Yes. Here, here in Kenya, Kenya. Oh, yeah. So you're based here? Yes. I'm, I'm Kenyan, although I'm usually not in the country a lot. I travel. Mm -hmm. Yes. With your husband? You travel a lot? Yes. Wow, 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 wow. Which is this amazing yeah. country that you guys have gone to? Also, the thing about Africa is that every country has something amazing about it. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to decide, you know. Like you say, South Africa is very developed. Yeah. Um, when you talk about Nigerians, they're very hospitable, you know. Mm -hmm. you, just, you just have fun being around Nigerians. Very mm -hmm. live people. Have, have, having grown in Kenya and brought up in Kenya, what is this amazing thing that is unique about Kenya that is not out there. Our matatus. Hey. When I go, when I travel, like, I miss, Una like, choma. Uh, yeah, <laughs> something to be proud of. Okay. <laughs> like, our matatus. Oh, just getting into a matatu and the loud music and the graffiti. Mm -hmm. When you go to other countries, they, they, they're just matatu. They're just the, there. They're no just loud some, music. No, no loud music. Graffiti. Have you put him in one? I intend to. Please make sure that uh, Rongai, <laughs> Where? 123 Rongai. Where? <laughs> <laughs> so it's been an amazing journey with your husband. You guys just travel the country, the world as you make stories. Yes. Wow. Do you also tell amazing stories about our country? Oh yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. Which is this one big story you've ever said about Kenya? Mm, um, Matatu. 
No. <laughs> I've met people like Vera Sidika, Betty Chalo, and I've told their story. Mm. And um, their also, also and just their mother, showing right? Nairobi City, how mm -hmm. beautiful it is, mm -hmm. going to Nakuru, you know. Mm -hmm. We also want to go to Mombasa, Lamu, places mm -hmm. like that, and just show Kenya wow. to the world. Wow. Thank you so much. Tell your husband one thing about this country that he doesn't know. Uh, oh, God. Oh, um, <laughs> You, uh, Kenya is actually very beautiful ah. and you need to explore it, you know, more beautiful than you might think. This is just Nairobi. I've told him he needs to go to Lamu. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Have you been to Lamu? So many times. Lamu is amazing, you know, very different from the rest of Kenya. Exactly. You've got Diani. I would definitely visit. Mm -hmm. like, I'm trying to go all over the country, even go to the north before uh, I to leave. To the north, eh? Yeah, before I leave. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. The you need to go to a country called Kayole. Oh, a town called Kayole. Oh, that is the biggest city, 1960. It seems that people don't believe what you <laughs> say. <laughs> Thank you so much, Miss Trudy. So much. Asante sana. Yeah. We appreciate you guys. Follow Miss Trudy on her YouTube channel, Miss Trudy, right? Yes. Miss Trudy, very, very soon, Mrs. Not, cannot no, be no, Wodema. Not uh, Wodema, of course. Yeah. The, the missus will come soon. No the missus will come soon. You promise soon. me that. I promise you. I You're promise not you. going to do... Ah, no, no, no. Ah, no. Like, we've been to, like, from a first country to now, so don't worry about uh -huh. it. Yeah, we'll don't go, go to a country and see other women ah, and leave no. my sister. I'll, I'm always with We'll back. come for you. Ah, I don't really care we'll for you. We'll come for you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Miss Trudy. Yeah. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for bringing him and making us host him. Oh, thank you. Asante. Asante, 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 Asante. Which Swahili word do you know, by the way? Ah, oh my goodness. Nabariako. Ah, Missouri, Sana. And uh, I know Unafana Nini. Una? Unafana Nini. Unafana Nini. Ah, uh, Twendeni. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah Twendeni. Twendeni, like, yeah, let's, let's go. go. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kuja, mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. and, um, mm -hmm. The Which Habari are the greetings? Abari Ajoni. Yeah, Abari Asubui. Abari Asubui. Uh, yeah, you and, see. Uh, and um, Chana Mchana. Mchana in a, Mchana. That's Mchana a, like that's Napenda Kula. Uh -uh, Napenda Kula is a greeting for during the oh, day. Oh, okay. Jioni is evening. Asubui. Mm -hmm. Napenda Kula. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I, Napenda? I, Napenda? Napenda. Like I, uh, oh, I thought this Nakupenda. <laughs> 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 wow. My brother, look at that camera yeah. as we just close it down All right. and uh, tell my country people something, tell our African brother something yeah. and we close it down. I just want to, first of all, I want to say Jalango is just an amazing person. And uh, from today, I'm also going to check more about you. Because when I told you about, I told my friends about you, everybody said I've made it in life. So first of all, I want to say thank you so much for hosting me. And if you are here, and if you are here because of what am I, I just want to say I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so and go subscribe to my channel. And um, wherever you're from, whether you're from Kenya, Tanzania, wherever you're from in Africa, let's all think. One Africa first, united as one, divided we fall. Thank you so much. Wow. I've been hosting the amazing, amazing Wodemaya. That is the name of his channel, which definitely means my mom. Please, please also go. Please like this video. Subscribe, subscribe. Why should this Ghanaian be at 200 and 500,000 and you are struggling definitely. at 255? <laughs> Tell them to subscribe. You have to like hey, subscribe. It, no, you know, it's and, by force. Yes. It's by force to subscribe to. So my subscribers, I mm. tell them when I do videos with people, I mm. tell you that I'm not going to come here and beg you. Mm. It's by force to subscribe. <laughs> so how many subscribers do you have now? 255,000. And how many do you want? We, we need to get to 500,000. Hey, that's too much. <laughs> <laughs> too much. That's too much. We but need hey, to hit one hey, million. Hey, we need to soon, hit one very million. Very soon. So, hey, you, if you are here because of what am I, it's by force to subscribe to Jalango TV. But Jalango, mm -hmm. I'll show you so many things, so many tricks. You don't even wow, have to tell wow. people you've, to subscribe. You've showed me I'll, so I'll show many. you a lot you've before I leave. Yeah? So far, you've already showed me so much. <laughs> yeah, don't you've worry. You've showed me so much. There's and so I, many. I appreciate so many. everything so tricks, that you've done for me and my channel. And what my team have learned from what you do, yeah. we are so, so humble. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, there's only one way to travel around this country. Mm. It's through the best, the best, the best traveling agents ever. What is They're the called Tripigo Tours. They will organize and give you some of the best, best hotels. And uh, I want are to they going to sure. do that for me? Yes. I promise you. Okay. I'm going to make sure that you travel through Tripigo Tours. Thank and you. that is, I'll make sure that I do that. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you so, so that, much. So uh, that in the country you can showcase everywhere, target Tripigo Tours, let them definitely, know that they'll give definitely. you the best services. Uh, fantastic. Tell me a few places that you want to go to and uh, we'll organized. be able to. Yeah, Guys, thank you guys so much. This has been amazing, 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 amazing interview. 
with the amazing Wodemeyer. Wodemeyer. And uh, we can just say thank you so much to the team that hosted us today. That is a team at Park Inn Radisson. I want to give you guys a challenge that make sure that you come to Park Inn Radisson, grab a drink, an evening drink, or just a Sunday, uh, just a Sunday at their rooftop. We are at their rooftop. Yeah, yeah. Just see the view out here. And we will be having an event here that will be bringing you guys to just enjoy and uh, be able to be part of this amazing journey. This is Jalango TV, and that was Bonga Jalas. And until tomorrow, thank you, thank you so much. Okay. Nice Love you so you. much, my brother. Love you too. Sanitize again? <laughs> Would you like to have your child revise online but your internet connectivity is limited? JMAX e-learning application has two features, competition and revision. Tap on the refresh button to update the content. The tests are timed, marked and graded offline, and the correct answers of incorrectly answered questions are shown. JMAX lets your child compete nationally and releases the ranking of top performers per subject every month. Use the referral code to enjoy a discount of 50 Kenya shillings. Subscribe now to compete.